Hi, welcome to App in the Cloud with me, Daniel Hindrikes. Today I will talk about how you can use Azure Cognitive Services to train your own model with your own images to perform image classification. So you can upload an image to the model and you can predict what type of object that are in the model. In this demo I will show you how I used it to create a model that I can use to identify mushrooms. The service that we will use in Cognitive Services is the one that is called Custom Vision. To use that one we will go to the portal that Microsoft has created for Custom Vision. So let's go to customvision.ai. Here you can see the portal and you can see what my old projects are, So, but we can create a new project here just by clicking new project. Uh, we will give it a name, mushrooms, demo, description, image classification for mushrooms. And then we can uh, create a new resource group in Azure because we need an Azure account to do this. I have already created a resource group that is called mushroom and so we will use that. Then we can select what type of project this is. Is this a classification project or is it object detection? In this case we will use classification. Object detection is for if you want to uh, detect where in images different kind of object is. But for this one we will use classification. Then we have classification types, we have multi-label and we have multi-class. Multi-class is single tag per image and that is what we will use now. We will only have one type of mushroom in each image. And then we can use different domains. General, food, landmarks, retail is the models that you can, uh, the domains that you can uh, select. Uh, you can also select to use a compact model. And a compact model in this case is a model where uh, uh, you can export the model so it can be used offline, for example, in an iOS app, Android app. So we will take a general compact model so that we will be able to export the model. So let's create the project. So now we have created a project and then we need to start to upload images. So I press the add image and I will go to my image folder and I can select different kind of uh, uh, mushrooms. So let's go to this fly agaric, upload these five photos and we'll give them a tag fly agaric. So and let's upload them. While Microsoft has pre-trained the models, it's enough to have maybe just five images and will pro still have a good result. Um, but of course, if you upload more images, you will get an even better result. So we will upload a few photos of canterals as well. Give it a tag and we'll upload the photos. So now we have two different type of mushrooms, then we can go and train the models. Uh, we can do quick training or advanced training. If you select advanced training, you can give uh, the custom vision service a, a training budget, how much uh, they can spend on it. So in this case, we can set maximum one hour, but we can also set up to 24 hours. In this case, it will probably not take that long time because we don't have that much images. But for this demo we will do a quick training. And will probably not take long time to complete the training. Okay, now it's ready. And we can see we have a precision recall and AP to see how good the model is. In this case it will not use all of your photos that you have uploaded and because they use some of them to train the models on. Uh, but we can test this one can do a quick test. Uh, I have some photos here that's not is part of the training set. We can for example take this red car. Oh, it says that is pro a probability 
of 87%, this is a flag agaric. That is not true. And that shows us that it's also important to upload photos of non-mushrooms. Before we do that, we can uh, test with this white fly fungus. Let's see. And it thinks it's a cantaril because now we only have two different mushrooms in our training set. And in this case, it, they don't know about any white mushrooms. So that's yeah, just um, doing recognition based on the shape. So if we instead go here and upload the white fly fungus to our training set, add new images. White fly fungus as the tag and upload them. Then we can go and retrain the model. And now we can can do a new quick test. And we will use the same photo. And it will recognize it as a white fly fungus. Okay, let's try to upload some photos of uh, non-mushrooms to see if we can get a better result for that. Uh, and I have prepared here with some non-mushroom photos, just on red cars in this case, because I want to show you that if we upload photos with a, could be similar to uh, to the red mushroom, it will be easier to recognize what type of mushroom it is. So we upload those. And now we can give it a negative tag. A negative tag is a tag that we will use when uh, we have photos that don't contain anything of the other tags, any of the other tags. So let's upload it. Retrain the model. We'll take a little longer time now because we have a few more photos. And now we can do a quick test. So we will take that red car again. And now we can see it's 100% sure that this is not a mushroom, it's a negative tag. So when uh, we have trained other, other models, we can um, either use the, the REST API and uh, upload photos to the service, or we can export the models. We can export it for iOS uh, to use it with Core ML. We can use TensorFlow, ONNX for Windows, Dockerfile, and the Vision AI DevKit. So that's how we can use our uh, train models together with mobile apps. We can use it with websites, uh, and we can use it together with whatever service we want because we can export a model uh, to use it offline, and we can use the REST APIs for better performance. What's interesting if we use the REST APIs that we can get feedback on what photos the users has uploaded. So if you go here to predictions, we can see all the photos that users have uploaded to the service. So if, for example, here we can see the red car. And then I can go here and add a tag to that one. So we can improve our model based on uh, photos that users has uploaded to us. Uh, if we use offline predictions, we will don't get that. So that's one big uh, reason to use uh, online prediction. So we'll save this and we can retrain it with data based on, uh, on the photos that user actually wants to have classification or prediction for. So that is how custom vision service in Azure Cognitive Service works. In the next video, I will show you how you can use those models to build a mobile app using Xamarin.